Yo guys, it's Karma, and I'm back with another video, and today, I am back in the, the One Piece game, Sea of Glory, that is being developed, uh, as we speak, well, maybe not as we speak, but it's, it's in the works. But anyways, um, so I'm gonna show you guys the fun stuff and cool stuff, uh, of this game now. So, last video on this game, or last video, also, um, I, we just, it was like a 20 minute video of the corner, like, talking about the game and what it had. Now I can show you guys some uh, Del Fruits. Um, they don't have all the Del Fruits, but they're gonna have a lot. Like they're gonna have a lot of Del Fruits that most One Piece games don't even have. But um, let's let's check them out. All right. So I I'm just gonna show the Paramecium's today. These aren't these aren't all the Del Fruits. I actually have no clue what or which, but I'm gonna figure it out. So I'm just gonna show all the Paramecium's today. Um, that's really it, because then I'll show, like, Zoan's another video, and then, uh, Logia's next video, or another video, that's what I mean. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's start off with Gum Gum, alright? Gum Gum, we already know, is a pyramid, so let's click that and eat it up. Go bop, just like that, alright? So, now we have the Gum Gum Power, so... The moves are E, R, T, I believe. So E, yeah. E is just the gum gum pistol. You know, just the classic one, you know. Actually, right here is a Logia uh, dummy. That's, like, it's just a Logia. Let's see, just like that. So I can't hit it because I don't have Busaki. Unless I turn on, if I press B, but I don't have the stat. Oh my god. Okay, you're supposed to have, like, 10 hockey stat, but I, I have zero. So yeah, that's that's the first one, you know, just a, a punch to the face. Next one we have R, which R is a really cool one. Like, uh, it's I don't I haven't seen it in any other game, but basically it's where he, it's like I, I don't know what it's called, but it's like kind of like a grapple. So you don't have to do it on people. It actually does a kick at the end. So when you hit it, when you lock on, you kick him and it does damage. It's not only for mobility. So you look just like that. I could just get up here. Just like that. Uh, there is a range to it, so you can't just like go to on an island, of course. But deal, just like that. That's it's a really cool uh move. I could go down there, shoot, and then hit him. See how it like uh goes uh, smoke form kind of. That means I hit the person or hit them, not just by touch. I don't believe. Yeah, see, by touch it do it doesn't work. Okay, next. We have, uh, no wait, we have another move, what am I doing? Um, T. T is Gum Gum Baz uh, not Bazooka, Barrage, I don't know what it's called actually. But basically, uh, it, it doesn't hit him, I don't know why it's not hitting. But, it does damage, trust me. So that's, that's, um, T. As you can see, we do have a stamina bar, right here, so, uh, yeah, uh, you have to like watch out. So if you stand still, it'll just completely just go up, no problem. So if I just do that again, it does damage. Trust me, it does. But I don't know why it's not hitting it, not detecting it. But yeah, that's gum gum. Um, next, let's let's move on to the next paramecium. All right, so the next del fruit I'll show you guys. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Um, the next del fruit is venom, which is this one right next to gum. Eat that venom is actually it was very good um in testing but i think they nerfed it because it was too good but anyways um so we have e you know he's he's just a classic spit of venom uh it doesn't really go where your mouse is it just goes wherever you're facing and it has a has a range to it so oh Damn, damn, there's some damage to it. And then it also has a kind of a venom effect or a poison effect, you could say, um, to it. Next, we have R, which is just like a puddle. Wherever you walk, you, you just leave a trail. And if they walk into it, they'll take damage, of course. And you could turn on and off until your stamina is uh, gone or low or something. And then last but not least, we have T. Um... I have actually no idea what this is. Oh, yeah, it's this one. Okay, so T is very overpowered. Um, this one actually uses your mouse cursor and uh, you use your aim with it. So 
as you can see, there's Venom Dragon Heads. There's actually three Dragon Heads, and each one has a hitbox. So basically, if you can hit um, somebody with like all three hitbox, all three heads, they're done for, just like that. They're just done for. And then, yeah, you can control it with your mouse, and it, it will disappear in like, I don't know, maybe a couple seconds, and then, uh, yeah. And I killed the Logio user, which is my bad. So, on to the next Paramecium. Alright, so I have three more Delphus to show you, show to you guys. Uh, on three more Paramecium's, I mean. I'll showcase more, of course. And next one is Barrier. Um, Bari Bari no me. So, this is what it looks like, the blue one. Um, I'm not sure why it's blue, but it's blue. Um, so here we go. We got E. Alright, so first move is E. And basically, what you do is hold the shield, and if you click, okay, I, I released E on accident. So basically, what you want to do, oh shush, is press E and then click, okay. I'm not doing this very well. Click, okay. Uh, just wait. Let me get some more stamina. Alright, here we go. So E, oh my, E and click, bam. And basically, what that does, if it hits a uh, NPC or you or a player, it will push them back and do damage to them. Um, so you can like if you if you're on this island right and you're fighting against a Delphi user, it's very overpowered because you can push them off into the water and and they're basically dead. So yeah, so just E and click. Oh, I keep releasing E, E and click just like that. Boom. All right, there we go. That's E R. Is uh, I cannot show you guys because. I have no MC to attack. I can attack actually, but basically this does a lot of damage. I'm pretty sure. I actually have no idea what that move does. I, mean, I don't know what it does. I uh, never actually used that on anybody. But um, that's e is it does damage. I'm I know that I actually have used it on somebody, but I don't think it does put a bubble around them. I thought it does, but it doesn't. And uh, that's all for barrier right now. Um, those are the two moves for barrier. Now to our fourth, uh, no, fifth Paramecium Delphru. All right, guys. So you might not think this next Delphru is pretty cool, but if you think about it, you can. Uh, it's it's pretty cool in how they made it, and um, what you can use with it. But anyways, let's just let, let me just show you guys. All right, this one is uh suke suke no mi which is invisible fruit um you guys you know it's like it's trash you know but you can use it in a lot of situations that are good but anyway so e when you press e you go invisible so on your screen you're this glass figure right it's just this glass figure you only see this and it, this is a pretty cool effect like i haven't seen this in a one piece game but you know is i bet somebody could but you know this is pretty cool you know but on other people's screen um they don't see you at all like you're not you don't see them you can't they can't see you but it does drain cinema um uh, it doesn't have any other moves but think about like being a sniper and just you know sniping also but in it when you attack you do go out the mode but imagine like you're a sniper and you just snipe people from when you're invisible and then go back invisible and just snipe again you know like you gotta think about those things, you know. But that's Suke Suke no Mi. Um, and then now to our last Paramecium, Del Fruit. All right, so this last Del Fruit, uh, is pretty good. Um, it only has one move though, which is the slow Del Fruit. Slow, slow no Mi. I actually don't know the Japanese, but it's it's the slow fruit. All right. And in this game, when you get the slow effect, the animations, their attacks, just they're just slow. All right. So I am pretty, I'm slow while using the move, but they'll be slower. No, not probably not slower, but you know, they're going to be slow as well. And if they come at you and you have that in their, have that with an effect, they're just, they're a lot slower. Um, like they can't really reach you with a sword or punching or anything. Cause like their walk speed is slow. Their attack is slow. Their animations are slow. Just everything is slow for them and they cannot reach you. Um, I'm not sure if it does damage or not. Uh, I haven't tested it on a person yet again. I'm sorry, and I probably would, and I'm drowning. Uh, now is a good time to show a drowning effect. Um, as you can see, my screen is getting darker, and my light 
is about to go completely. There we go, it just, you know, dying. But uh, that's all of the Paramecium's as of right now. Trust me, guys, there will be like two times more Dough Fruits than there are right now, which there's, well, I don't know, there's three, two to three times more Dough Fruits. And there's about like 10, a bit more than 10. And um, yeah, so those are all the Paramecium's as of right now. If there are any more that come out, such as like Ope or something, like, you know, I'm going to do a video on that because Ope, you know, Ope lit. But anyways, I'm going to do like uh, a Smoke Smoke or an, uh, Snow uh, in a Logia video and then like Turtle and um, the Turtle and Bug, Turtle and Bug, which are um, Zoans. So I'll do those in another video. But um, that's all for the Paramecium's. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are not already, and turn on notifications. And I'll see you guys in another video. Peace. Bye.